What happens when four of humanity's most advanced space telescopes all detect the same impossible anomaly and the U.S. Space Force immediately classifies it as a potential threat? Three weeks ago, 3I Atlas was just another interstellar comet passing through our solar system. Today, it's pulsing blood red with an 84.6 second rhythm that contains trillions of encoded microfluctuations and it just proved it can resist planetary gravity. The NSA has launched Project Icarus, and what they've discovered will fundamentally change how we view our place in the universe. Three-Eyed Atlas was first identified as the third interstellar object ever detected passing through our solar system. At the beginning, astronomers were excited, not alarmed. To them, this was a rare scientific gift. A traveler from another star system wandering close enough for us to study in detail. Unlike asteroids or comets born from within our own solar neighborhood, this one carried with it the fingerprints of another sun, another history, another chemistry. For months after its discovery, Atlas behaved exactly as expected. It appeared as a faint, fuzzy speck racing through the blackness at nearly 100,000 miles per hour. This is normal for such visitors, cold, dusty objects that begin to brighten as they approach the warmth of our star. Astronomers predicted a spectacular but harmless flyby. It was catalogued, tracked, and studied as just another comet, though a very special one, because it offered a glimpse into material from beyond our solar system. The world's top observatories pointed their instruments toward it. From ground-based telescopes to space-based platforms, Scientists lined up to collect data on this once-in-a-lifetime cosmic guest. Everything they saw seemed to confirm their expectations. A typical icy wanderer, glowing faintly as sunlight excited its gases. But this fragile illusion would not last. What was at first believed to be a frozen relic of another. Stars soon began to show signs that it was something very different and far more unsettling. What happened next? caught the entire scientific community off guard. Four of humanity's most trusted eyes in space. The Spitzer Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, the legendary Hubble, and even the retired but still functional Kepler were all watching 3i Atlas at the same time. What they saw broke every rule of astrophysics we thought we understood. It started quietly with Spitzer. Designed to see the universe in infrared light, it detected a sudden and massive heat spike erupting from the comet's core. At first, scientists thought this could be normal. Sometimes comets fracture and release gas in violent bursts. But before anyone could settle on that explanation, James Webb confirmed something no one had ever seen before. The glow surrounding the object. The coma that should have been a soft green or bluish haze from carbon gases began to shift. The familiar cometary colors vanished and were replaced by a deep, hostile crimson. This was not a gradual transition. It was sharp, uniform, and unnatural, as if someone had flipped a switch. Hubble was redirected to verify the event, and its ultra-sharp imaging confirmed Webb's results. Even Kepler, though retired and repurposed, joined in. All four telescopes told the same impossible story. 3i Atlas was no longer behaving like a comet. It had turned into a pulsating, blood-red beacon. And then came the most unsettling detail of all. The light wasn't steady. It pulsed in a perfect rhythm, a repeating heartbeat once every 84.6 seconds. To scientists watching in real time, it was as if the object was no longer just reflecting sunlight. It was shining with its own power. And broadcasting a signal, before we dive in, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You don't want to miss any updates on the universe's deepest secrets. And if you love exploring hidden mysteries and unexplained discoveries, give this video a like so we know to keep uncovering them. The first clue that something extraordinary was happening came from Spitzer. Its sensors registered a sudden massive surge of heat erupting from deep within 3i Atlas. This wasn't a minor outgassing event like we've seen from comets before. It was intense, abrupt, and far too powerful to be explained by sunlight melting surface ice. Then James Webb took over, and what it revealed left scientists speechless. 
The comet's faint greenish glow, normally caused by carbon molecules energized by the sun, had completely disappeared. In its place was a steady, pure crimson haze radiating outward. But the red light wasn't natural. It was too precise, too uniform. Nature is messy, unpredictable, uneven. This was sharp, deliberate, controlled, and then the pulse began. Every 84.6 seconds, without fail, the red glow surged brighter and then dimmed, repeating with machine-like precision. At first, astronomers thought it could be some exotic rotation pattern or an artifact in the instruments. But when Webb, Hubble, Spitzer, and even Kepler all confirmed the same reading, there was no denying it. This wasn't the chaotic flicker of a fragmenting comet. It was a signal, structured, rhythmic, intentional, like the steady thump of a cosmic heartbeat echoing across space, a pulse that repeated again and again, carrying with it the unmistakable mark of design. The realization hit hard. Three, I Atlas was no longer just a visitor from another star system. It was broadcasting, announcing its presence with a light show written in physics we could barely begin to understand. Once the data was verified across four different space telescopes, it was no longer just an astronomical curiosity. The information moved swiftly, bypassing universities and observatories and landing directly on the desks of national security officials. What had started as a comet study now carried the weight of a possible first contact scenario. The readings were too consistent to dismiss. A heat surge, a blood-red transformation, and a perfectly timed 84.6 second pulse. This wasn't a glitch. This was deliberate. The moment those facts lined up, the chain of command changed. Scientists had to step aside. The case now belonged to the military. At Vandenberg Space Force Base, a classified alert was issued. Within hours, a task force was formed under the code name Project Icarus. Its mission was simple on paper, but terrifying in reality. Determine what 3 Eye Atlas truly was, what its sudden transformation meant, and most importantly, whether it posed a threat to Earth. The U.S. Space Force had been established for scenarios exactly like this, unanticipated risks from beyond our world. For the first time, they were facing the possibility that one of those risks had just arrived. Analysts, strategists, and cryptographers were brought in. Astronomers continued to supply raw data, but the interpretation shifted to defense experts and intelligence officers in the span of a few hours. 3II Atlas had gone from a scientific marvel to a classified matter of national security. And with every new pulse of that crimson heartbeat in the sky, Project Icarus knew the clock was ticking. When the rhythmic pulse from 3I Atlas was first confirmed, many assumed it was just a simple beacon, a steady flash like a lighthouse in the dark. But when the signal was handed over to the experts at the National Security Agency, they quickly realized it was far more than that. The NSA's top codebreakers, usually focused on intercepting encrypted human communications, were now staring at light curves from deep space. What they found inside each 84.6 second pulse was staggering. Hidden within the main beat were trillions of microscopic fluctuations, tiny shifts in brightness and timing, far too precise to be natural noise. This wasn't just a repeating flash. It was a data stream, a vast library of information compressed into light. Imagine opening a single book, only to discover that between its pages are entire shelves of hidden volume. That's what the analysts were dealing with, an information density beyond anything humans have ever transmitted. The complexity was overwhelming. It wasn't binary. It wasn't radio. It wasn't anything that fit into human coding systems. It seemed to be written in the very fabric of physics itself, a language designed not for us, but for those who already understand it. Deciphering it proved nearly impossible. Yet the intent was undeniable. Someone or something had built a way to speak through light itself. The question haunting the analysts was simple. Were we meant to understand this message? Or were we only ever meant to witness that it existed? While the NSA wrestled with the signal, the Space Force directed every available sensor toward 3I Atlas. What came back only deepened the mystery. 
Radar sweeps revealed an object nearly two miles long, thin and jagged like a shard of glass, adrift in the void. But its behavior under observation was unlike anything known in physics. At times, it seemed to vanish from radar entirely, absorbing every signal like a stealth bomber designed for the stars. Then, without warning, it would reflect energy with such intensity that instruments nearly overloaded. No natural body should switch from invisible to blinding in an instant. It was as though the object could decide when to be seen and when to disappear. Even stranger was its thermal profile. The surface glowed with that eerie, pulsating red light, a sign of enormous energy being released. But the core told a different story. Measurements showed its interior sitting just three degrees above absolute zero, colder than anything nature should allow in such conditions. This was a paradox, a blazing beacon on the outside yet frozen solid within. By every law of thermodynamics, this was impossible. Heat should flow inward, light should disperse, energy should balance. But 3i Atlas broke those rules as if they didn't exist. To scientists and military analysts alike, this was the most terrifying revelation so far. It wasn't just advanced technology, it was technology built on principles alien to our understanding of the universe. This wasn't a more advanced version of human engineering, it was something else entirely, operating in a realm we had never imagined. The real breaking point came as 3i Atlas drifted past Mars. Any natural body, no matter how small, should have been caught in the planet's gravity. Pulled off course, even slightly. But telescopes watched in disbelief as the shard kept moving in a perfect line as if Mars had no pull at all. This wasn't a mistake in the data. The orbital math was undeniable. Something inside that object was actively resisting gravity, not just adjusting course with thrusters, but counteracting one of the most fundamental forces in the universe. NASA analysts tried to explain it as hidden propulsion, but the numbers didn't add up. There were no visible jets, no heat signatures from exhaust, no debris trails. The object didn't push against gravity, it seemed to cancel it. For military observers under Project Icarus, this was the most unsettling moment yet. A craft that could negate gravity wasn't just advanced, it was untouchable. On Earth, such a capability would render every weapon Every defense system, obsolete, astronomers watching from the ground, described it best. It moved as though Mars wasn't even there. To many, that was the final confirmation. 3i Atlas wasn't a drifting shard of ice. It wasn't even a rogue fragment of rock. It was under control, and whoever controlled it had mastered physics in a way humanity could barely dream of. With the reality of 3i Atlas's capabilities becoming undeniable, Project Icarus shifted focus from passive observation to active defense. The U.S. Space Force began asking questions that had no easy answers. How do you stop an object that defies gravity? How do you counter technology you don't even understand? Every available sensor was brought online. Space surveillance networks, global radar arrays, and radio telescopes were tasked with constant 24-7 monitoring. Analysts scoured every pulse, every microfluctuation, and every trajectory adjustment, searching for a hint of intent or weakness. Special satellite teams were activated, working on hypothetical countermeasures. The object's strange light pulses, its radar-defying surface, and its core near absolute zero made conventional weapons useless. Engineers and military strategists brainstormed ideas that felt like science fiction, electromagnetic disruption, directed energy, kinetic interception, but all remained theoretical. Even the simplest question, where would the object strike if hostile became complicated? Its ability to resist gravitational forces meant it could potentially alter its path at will. Every simulation projected multiple worst-case scenarios, and every outcome raised alarms. The mission had fundamentally changed. Project Icarus was no longer just a study of an interstellar visitor. It was now a defensive operation, preparing Earth for the possibility of encountering a technology far beyond anything human civilization had ever built. As data poured in and Project Icarus struggled to keep up, speculation ran wild. 
even among the most seasoned analysts, three main theories began to dominate discussions, each more unsettling than the last. The first, known as the Lighthouse Beacon Theory, suggests that Three-Eye Atlas isn't hostile to humanity at all. Instead, it could be a warning system, a signal placed to alert civilizations of a galactic danger lurking in our path. In this scenario, we are mere bystanders, witnessing a warning intended for other intelligent species. The red light is a caution, a cosmic road sign activated at the right moment. The second, called the terraforming seed ship theory, proposes a far darker possibility. What if the sudden energy spike and red glow marked the activation of a machine designed to reshape worlds? Microscopic, self-replicating technology could spread across our atmosphere, oceans, or even biology, preparing Earth for colonization by an unknown civilization. In this view, the red light isn't just a signal, it's a harbinger of change, a warning of what might come. The third, and perhaps most unsettling, is the litmus test theory. Some analysts argue that the object's creators are watching our reaction in real time. The disguise as a comet, the color shift, the encoded signal, all carefully orchestrated, could be a psychological test. Are we fearful, aggressive, or cautious? Are we ready for contact, or do we panic at the unknown? Each theory is chilling, yet none can be confirmed. For now, humanity faces a reality that blends astronomy, national security, and speculative science fiction, a cosmic puzzle with implications far beyond our understanding. After weeks of observation, analysis, and speculation, one fact became unavoidable. Three, Atlas is not natural. Every pulse, every anomaly, every gravitational defiance points to a single conclusion. This is an artificial, intelligently controlled object. It has traveled possibly thousands or even millions of years across interstellar space, arriving in our solar system for a reason. Its sudden activation, the crimson glow, and the complex signal all suggest a deliberate announcement of its presence. But the question remains, why? Is it a warning, a test, or the first step in something far larger? Project Icarus continues to monitor, decode, and prepare. But even the brightest minds admit the uncertainty is terrifying. We are facing technology beyond human comprehension, a presence that could reshape our understanding of physics, intelligence, and life itself. Somewhere out there, a civilization with knowledge far surpassing our own has sent this probe into our neighborhood, and they chose to reveal themselves, not by stealth, but by turning on the light, pulsing a message across the void. As humanity watches, listens, and waits, one truth is clear. We are no longer alone in the universe, and the arrival of Three-Eye Atlas has changed everything. The red light shines not just across the void of space, but into the very heart of our understanding, forcing us to confront questions we may not be ready to answer. If you found this journey through hidden science, cosmic secrets, and potential alien infrastructure as mind-blowing as we did, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Don't miss future explorations into the universe's deepest mysteries, because some secrets are just waiting to be uncovered.